What is up guys? So in this video, I'm basically going to be doing a super quick review of Apollo in terms of its verified email validity again. So the emails that Apollo gives you that it says are verified, I'm going to be checking the rate at which they're actually verified at or not, because I've been seeing a couple of conversations on platforms like LinkedIn, basically talking about an overall decrease in the lead quality that Apollo is able to offer, which in my personal opinion is one of the key things with regards to whether Apollo is a good solution or not not. So it's actually verifying as to whether the leads that Apollo has are real or whether they're basically duds. Now I'm on a free account at the moment, and I'm going to be using another provider, which is never bounce. Now, again, it's also important to note that never bounce is owned by zoom info. So if you were going to do this test with zoom info data, you could mostly be sure that the results would be mostly the same, but because Apollo and zoom info aren't the same entity, it's a pretty fair trial and it's a pretty fair experiment because they don't have any incentive to show Apollo's data as real. So I've already done a couple, right? As you can see right here. So I've just copy pasted a couple of emails into Neverbounce just to check the actual validity itself. Uh, all of these emails have been noted down as valid by Apollo, but you can see that some are catch all, except, except all hands catch all, which again, aren't verifiable. The only thing that you can verify is that the actual inbox exists. There's a couple of unknowns that have popped up as well and a couple of invalids as well. Now I'm looking at the invalid rate. I personally don't care if Apollo is also giving you accept and catch alls because it is essentially unavoidable. They could have been a little bit more transparent with regards to the email quality that they are giving you because catch alls can in some cases also bounce. If you're paying for the actual credits, they could have just given you valids as opposed to catch alls as well. But there are a couple of invalids as well, which isn't necessarily a big problem because there aren't so many. There's maybe one in 10, but they do pop up nonetheless. Now, if we were to basically do the experiment again, if we do it like uh, again in the US. So United States, uh, let's pick up some lawyers, any of lawyer, and let's be more specific within California. So California, done. Let's move over to page three. Let's select 10. And then let's export verified only confirm I will comply. I will comply. And then let's just move them over to never bounce. Yeah. So all of these are verified as you can see right here. Now we'll actually be able to tell as to whether they are or not. Accept all, accept all, valid, should be valid, unknown. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, as per Apollo, all of these email addresses were quote unquote, you know, supposed to be valid, but you could see that it also gives you accept alls as well, which other providers like drop contact, they have a plan where you can basically avoid the accept alls as well, because there is some sort of bounce rate there because it's unverifiable. There are some invalids as well uh, that, that were meant to be valid as per Apollo, but overall the quality is rather okay. It's, you know, it's more like six out of 10 as opposed to anything.